visitors to Nuremberg often can be seen taking photos. And there's certainly no shortage of worthy subjects to capture on camera. We begin with the city's most famous landmark, the Kaiserburg, or Imperial Castle. The German Kaisers rarely stayed here for long, but they did come here often, using the occasion to hold lively parties. And every newly elected Kaiser held his first imperial diet here. In the city below, homage is still paid to the Kaiser. The Church of Our Lady features a glockenspiel. Every day at noon, seven electoral princes file past the Holy Roman Emperor Charles IV. It's another popular tourist attraction. The medieval sites are all located in the center of the city and so close together that they can easily be reached on foot. The bridges over the Pegnitz River are another popular motif. The Hangman's Bridge is an original wooden construction from the Middle Ages. Ninety percent of Nuremberg was destroyed during the Second World War, but in many areas it's still possible to get a sense of how the city must have looked. For example, the 22 houses of the Weissgerbergasse, or Tanner's Lane, have been completely preserved. The street was once home to medieval craftsmen. But those who had really made it opted for something more grand. This Renaissance mansion was home to the Tucher family. They earned their wealth from trading in spices, Nuremberg's number one source of income at the time. The Tucher mansion, with its grand state rooms and banqueting hall, is now a museum open to the public. So all in all, Nuremberg is definitely a city with medieval appeal.